Okay, y'all, uh, so today I'm about to make a video and I'm about to roll up to me. But today the video is going to be about how, let me back up. Today the video is going to be about how I got into a brawl. All right, the glasses are going to come off, y'all, yeah, because I'm not going to lie. I can't see, but there's a whole glare right when I'm trying to talk to you guys. So don't mind the, out, the background. Like, you know, I'm in the, I live in the Bronx. I'm from New York. So don't mind the background. But not the the background noise. I don't give a fuck about what it looks like. Now. But so basically. Okay, hold on. Sorry, y'all. I had to rejuvenate, but basically today we're gonna talk about the brawl that I had two years ago, two three years ago. This beef was like four years long. Um, the brawl wasn't even meant to happen. The girl wasn't even supposed to supposed to come. Honestly, yeah. Um, and let's get into the story. So basically, the girl started disliking me. I never knew of the girl. Never knew her name. We never met each other. I only knew of her when she texted me. So, and I guess she been knew of me, honestly. So, um, basically, the beef started because her boyfriend texted me on my birthday, said, happy birthday, babe, or whatever, to try to be cute. And I said, thank you. But we need to remember in your head that I did not know of this girl. So, I didn't know he had a, a girlfriend, but he did. And second of all, all I said was thank you, and we never told that that. This girl hit me up and spoke to me about this two months after, two or three months after, which was March 22nd. My birthday is January 31st. She had on March 22nd when it, when we went on COVID um, lockdown. When on COVID lockdown, a girl hit me about message from two months ago when you could have been hitting me about that for one. Two, um, yeah, so when she hit me about that, um, like, I was very flabbergasted and lost because... I don't know what she wanted me to say or what she was doing by texting me that because at the end of the day, me and your nigga was never really talking. So when I told her, she asked me if I wanted her nigga. She, that's how she texted me. She asked me, oh, do you want him this senator? No, I don't want him. I didn't even know he had a girlfriend. What he was telling me, he said he never had a girlfriend. This is what I'm telling her. She starts getting crazy, mind you. It's never, I never was talking to her crazy, never nothing because she asked me a simple question. But then after I said what she said and I, I said no, bitch sent me screenshots of when he texted me on my birthday and what I, and I said thank you back. So then I got tight and I was like, oh, so since I said thank you, you think I want your nigga? And I was like, you really text me and went out your way to text my phone about messages from two months ago and you're on hots now and we're on lockdown knowing that we can't even come outside. And I was like 15, you know damn well my mother was not letting me go outside when it's no fucking pandemic. Like we were, you know I was not going outside. So, I feel like she did that on purpose. So, she tried to do snap shows. At this time, you know, Snapchat was booming. Snapchat was popping. So, she tried to do snap shows or whatever. Wasn't fucking with that. Was not jacking that because, girl, like, you're really trying to beef with me over a nigga I don't want. And it's not even my fault. Go talk about, talk, talk to him about that. Because at the end of the day, he said happy birthday to me. You're talking about happy birthday messages. You're acting like we was te talking, texting. And then you're talking two months later. Like, girl, you got to get your shit together ASAP. No fucking Rocky. I'm not even playing. Hold on. So, I'm sorry, y'all, but it's too many noises. My fuck is just dying in the background, coughing and shit. But, so, after the fact that, um, what's called, like, what happened? I forgot. Hold on, y'all. I forgot what part I was at. So, yeah. So, she did snap shows or whatever. She posted, this is how I know this girl knew of me before I knew of her. Because she knew shit that was going on with me. That... How do you know that unless you know me, know me for real, and know the people that involved with that situation and stuff like that? So she starts talking about another man, another boy at this time, because I was 15, so the boys were probably like, you know, 16, 17, 15, or whatever. So she started talking about, then a nigga talking about, oh, you did this, da 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 Mind you, I never did nothing. Maybe I was a virgin. Stop playing with me. I was 15, I was a virgin. Don't ever play with me. I was in ninth grade. Don't ever. Don't ever play with me, girl. So she tried to make a snap show and try to talk about me. So baby, I knew, so I had gathered my information from people I'm cool with and they put me on about some tea that nobody really knew. And I didn't even know this girl from when they was in middle school. So 
boom drop the t like i don't know if i should say it like i don't know how to sh if i should say it because it's like you know we not beefing no more but i feel like i should say it so i'm gonna say it Ho hold on yeah i'm really talking to y'all like we on facetime right now because we are on facetime but so boom so after so i said what i said on snapchat about her so i go oh your best friend is your best friend now and not your girlfriend no more because she got a taste of your coochie and she left. Cause she, oh wait, hold on. Hold on, I'm explaining this backwards. Hold on, hold on. 10 years later. Y'all, I'm explaining this all wrong. So basically, basic. oh my God, backtrack, backtrack, scratch everything out your head right now. Don't scratch everything out your head, but backtrack. So before the girl, before I posted what I said on the Snapchat or whatever, when she posted what she said about me, my friends and everybody made a group chat on Snapchat. Made a group chat. I added my homegirls in it. My homegirls in it or whatever. And I'm telling her, I want to beat her up this time and I'm going to spank you this time and I'm saying all this to her. Mind you. Her best friend is in the chat too. So, mind you, I, before I added my friends, they was on me. They was talking hella smack about me. I was arguing with three other girls and it was them. So, I added my friends into the group chat and they added boys into the group chat. And when we was arguing, hold on. Don't mind the car. Don't mind the car. When we was arguing, whatever, like... Her best friend said something to me and was talking about me. So that's when I was like, oh, so I'm going to go on both y'all. So what I said was, you're not fucking with, I'm going to call the girl that I fought AirPod no more. You're not fucking with AirPod no more because her coochie stink. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Let me go back. <laughs> so the girl I fought is not fucking with, what's her name? Slim Jim. We're going to call her Slim Jim. So airpod not fucking with slim jim no more because as soon as airpod got a taste of slim jim coochie she turned back straight that's what i was talking about slim jim is the girl is the best friend airpod that i thought i thought hold on let me explain this part the only reason why i said something about slim jim because she said something to me when airpod added me in the group chat but her and her three friends so they was on me slim jim was talking about me so i'm like hold on let me get her and her friend her bestie so when i gathered the information i found out that airpod left slim jim once she gave the taste of her coochie, she started dating niggas again. That's when she had a boyfriend, and that's when this whole situation had started going on. So I'm like, let me say something about it. So I said, so I said, once AirPod got a taste of Slim Jim's coochie, she ain't like it, so she went back straight. That's why I said what I said because she tried to talk about me and make lies about me. Like, girl, don't make no lies about me, boo. Because I would say the truth about you. Something you ain't know, I know. AirPod. So. So AirPod said that. So I said that about her AirPod, whatever. Posted out on my story. Everybody was like, "Oh yeah, you ate, you ate, you ate." Oh, oh shoot, da 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 da. Cause they like they knew a little son, but I gave them the whole scoopy scoop, and I punched. So I had to say what I had to say about her on Snapchat. Like I'm tired of the back and forth. Let's just fight, and that's what it was for me. Like let's just fight. So, bitch was ducking me. Basically, she was ducking the smoke. She ain't wanna fight. So I asked somebody I knew, don't mind the Spanish people outside, we live in the Bronx. I asked somebody I knew for her address, they gave me her address. So me and my sister, we was finna go over there. Our mother was not letting us leave out. Mind you, I was telling her to just leave me halfway. This bitch, this girl, my fault, not me, but this girl, AirPod, she literally lived dumb far from me and we're beefing. So my mother was not jacking me going that deep when it's COVID time and COVID just hit. So you know people was actually dying and stuff like this. My mother was, okay, so now we're gonna fast forward. So fast forward to, I don't know if I should explain this guy to you guys on to why that everything went down, how it went down, but I'm gonna explain him and I'm not giving him no names. I'm not giving him an important role, important part. I'm gonna just explain it. So, Okay, so guys, this, I have to put my leg up for this. <laughs> don't mind my towel hanging drying. I don't care what y'all say. I'm not, yeah. So this boy, whatever, like we used to talk since ninth grade and this is 11th grade year that um, the whole brawl and everything happened. Me and him stopped talking. We was on and off because I was not gonna lie. I was unsure of who I wanted to be with. So it was like, we was on and off. I was young, you know, young stuff. So, um at the end of the day like he knew i had beef with that girl because he when we just started talking i didn't know he knew her or the boyfriend he's best friends with the boyfriend 
that texted me happy birthday airpods boyfriend that texted me happy birthday so i didn't even know none of that until we was mid talking on facetime one day and he told me like the story of me and the girl getting into beef he basically told me that story reiterated for me and i'm telling him like oh i'm that girl so he knew the drama that me and this girl had he also was cool with one of the guys that live on my block so when we was throwing a cookout he got invited and i guess she was cool with another guy's sister that lived on that he didn't literally live on the block but he was cool with some guys from the block so that's why she got invited so mind you they're both invited from two different people i'm not knowing that so i'm at the party you know it's it was a cookout it was a cookout mind you it was a cookout so we was there early getting getting lit early and i was lit early so it was like 10 o'clock it was like 10 o'clock bro I'm, it's dark outside. I'm controlling the music to the cookout. So I'm like, turn my head. I'm trying to see. I see him. Then I see her. Then I'm like, what the f is going on? Because at the end of the day, I know me and him aren't like nothing. But that made me feel away because, you know, I beef for her. You know, she talked about me. And, you know, me, you, we used to talk to each other. We was a thing. So I feel like it's a respect thing. Like, I feel like you're playing with me in my face and you all in her face. And why both y'all here y'all not from my, my block? So now I'm really mad. So now I'm like, yeah, y'all tweaking. So I go to my, I go walk back to my friends and I'm like, yo, this girl got me messed up. Oh, no, no, no. I'm messing up the part. Hold on. So look, so as I see them or whatever, let me really explain to y'all this. I've been crushing for dumb long, but it's because I'm talking and crushing. But yeah, as I freaking see them, whatever, I walk closer to him and I look at him in his face. And I just look, and then she goes, the fuck? Mm, so I looked at her, and I'm lit right now, so I'm like, I go on her face, I'm like, stop playing with me, deadass, like, I don't fuck with you, I wasn't gonna say nothing to you about being here, but the, the fuck was uncalled for, I didn't say nothing to you, I wasn't looking at you, I was talking to you, nothing. Respectfully, I didn't say nothing to her, so she shouldn't have said nothing to me, I don't care. So I walk back to my friends, and I'm like, yo, hold my shit, this bitch is bugging the fuck out, she said something to me, I was gonna let her slide, but I just feel away, like, I don't know. I was upset, and then the, I feel like the liquor drugs was making me more upset. And I was just up there. She, I really don't like you, girl. I've already been waiting to catch you for two years because, mind you, school just got let back. Like, we really was out of school for two years, bitch. I've been waiting to get you. I've been waiting. Like, bitch, we got beef. We're going to be forever type. I'm not playing. The way you disrespect me and try to make it seem like I was really going like that at 15, girl, we really got to get it when I see you. And then you text me over something that was not serious. I feel like you're playing with me, so yeah. So yeah, it's like that. So my friends was like, what girl, what girl? I love my friends for this, I love my friends. So she said, what girl? So I'm like, I'm telling her I'm showing the girl. I'm like, oh, so everybody know what girl I'm talking about. So I, so my friend JP, he, well, my old friend JP, he was holding me back or whatever. And I'm like, get off me, get off me. Like, let me go see something, like, get off me, get off me, whatever. So my friend Gigi was like, give me the green light, give me the green light. I said, green light, she put two pieces of, boom, two pieces of stuff right in her face. <laughs> She two-piece her right in her face, swear on everything. After she two-piece her, JP got off me, tried to grab her, so I run in there, that fight, bopping the bitch, kicked her. She on the floor, she, um, I grab her, she's getting up. We fall to the side because my other friend that was making this fight, he pushed her to the side. I fall to the side or whatever, and I'm on top of her now, I'm punching her, I'm punching her. She holding my hair. Mind you, my hair was out curly because it was summertime. So I had my nice little curls out. I was looking cute or whatever. Had my natural hair. I didn't even have a. I had a half a half down curly hair style. So I was letting. So I had a hair tie on the very top. So I had a ponytail at the top. This bitch was holding all my hair together. Like I'm telling you, when she was holding all my hair, she was holding all my hair together. So I got upset, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I still want to fight. I want to. After they broke it up, I still wanted to fight her. And they was like, oh, let me see if I can go to this video. Okay, so, I'm sorry, y'all. Everything's all over the place. I feel like this story time's all over the place. But if I don't like it, I'm going to retake this story time. But, so, basically, after I fight this girl, like, all right, let me lock it. After, so, after I fought this girl, whatever, right, I get up. I'm like, I'm still, wanna, I want to do round two because my friend paced her first. So, she ended up leaving. And when I tell you she's leaving with the, with him, with him, with him, and we're gonna, I didn't want to give him a name, but you know who him is. You know who him is. Like, I don't want to give him a name. Like, I don't, I'm gonna call him Wax. She ended up leaving with Wax 
the whole reason as to why I even woke up to look at him, like, you know I was beefing with her. Wax knew I was beefing with AirPod. You decided to leave with AirPod. So I'm like, that was weird. So she left out with her friends, left out. Yo, we like, they all in my face. Smith, you good? You good? Like, everybody making sure I'm good or whatever. I'm like, I'm good. My friends come in my face. I'm like, you want to fight again? Do you want to fight? Like, all the guys come in my face. Do you want to fight her again? You want to fight her? She just pulled back up. I was like, she pulled back up. She pulled, yeah, yeah, we could fight again. I'm not tripping. We could fight again. So as I'm going to go fight her, this girl switched her old whole outfit. Literally, I'm fighting her in a V long shirt and some black shorts and black hats. This girl had on a sundress with a no a tube top sundress with a tube dress whatever you want to call it with slides and stuff and her braids out when i washed her the first time so the second time she had on white a white t-shirt and sweats and air forces on and i literally had on the same thing i for the first time so i wasn't tripping so as we squaring up because i'm like oh yeah we can fight again as i'm squaring up with the girl she go oh um which called over a nigga so after i heard that i'm like girl what my job, I'm drunk, and I'm. I know it's not over a nigga. It's over respect. You try to disrespect me over your nigga when you should address your nigga, knowing that I wasn't even really talking to him like that. And once you asked me if I went to him, and I said I didn't even know he had a girl this time of third, and we barely ever, we never even text, and you seen that he's the one that's happy birthday to me, and you know I didn't have no relations with him or didn't even know of you. I feel like you should have said something to him. You shouldn't have tried to disrespect me. So that's where the beef came from. And then I wanted to bend fight you two years ago, but COVID happened, so I couldn't. Then you come to my cookout and say something to me not my cookout but people i fuck with cookout and you said something to me you're you're being disrespectful bitch i was gonna let you slide but now i have to check you and you're bugging so then when all that went down or whatever we squared up after she said that that's all i ran through my brain but you're playing with me i don't give a fuck if you feel like it's about a nigga nigga if you feel like it's that way then let it be and so be it i don't care so boom popped on her as soon as I, I grabbed her, slammed her. Because first of all, I'm drunk. I don't care. Like, are you dumb? I'm drunk. You are not. You just came here. You're not drunk. You have mad energy. Like, you're doing the most. The bro, I dry car on the floor. This girl literally tried to wrap her legs around me. So I, like, turn her this way with her head. Turn her. Punching her. Punching her. Like, every time I get an opening, I start punching her. Because I start yapping at her. I don't give a... <laughs> I don't care. Like, every time I get an opportunity, I'm, I'm in her shit. So then after that, whatever um i'm in her shit in her shit she trying to like she kick me so i fall to the side or whatever like bro like when y'all see the fight like i'm about, i'm gonna insert it so i fall to the side or whatever all i know is her friends was trying to run in the guys was holding them back like no don't run in my friends was like if they if her friends jump in and hit samantha i'm knocking just heads off it was not playing about me because if a girl jump in that fight my friends was already on go and all my friends was on go and this is why this brawl happened so I'm fighting this girl, I'm fighting this girl, whatever. I'm out of breath because I'm literally just fought you. I'm drunk as life. I was smoking. I'm girl. Been drinking since five. It's ten o'clock. Like I'm, I'm done. Like I'm, I'm drunk. So as I'm being up this, so as I'm being her up or whatever, I'm on top of her. She kicks me like she literally puts her foot on my face while we're like tugging, and I fall over. So I fall over. I'm still there with her. Got her on the side, punching her, punching her or whatever then i'm literally like so then now we're like this like i'm have my feet like this like my knees on the ground i'm holding her because i'm out of breath so i'm like i'm gonna catch my breath so while she's punching me like she's literally hitting me right here down to my ass part can't feel none of that honestly because you're hitting you're hitting my back like what the fuck so as that was happening i'm scratching her face i'm sorry like I'm not even on no hating stuff because I honestly genuinely feel like she's not prettier than me regardless as to what, like, me looking like this right now. She's not. But anyways, so I was scratching her face because, bitch, I can't swing right now. And I'm out of breath and I'm drunk. So give me, like, three seconds. I'm still going to fuck your face up. When, and then when I get up, I'm going to fuck you up. So that's what the fuck happened. I was scratching her face. And then all I know is AB was like, Samantha, fucking swing. Swing. Like, you already caught your breath. Swing. So I start, bop, bop. I start swing. I start beat popping at home, and I'm telling you, I'm just wop, wop, wop. Then, then I, she getting up, she getting up, right? She getting up. I'm letting her get up. I don't care. I'm not fighting for who could get up faster, who could. I don't care, because every time these hits is efficient. Every time, every time, like every time, I don't care. So boom, she freaking what you call it? Got up, flipped her over me. Boom, got up, yanked my arm, yah. Yeah, come on, yeah, I'm hitting her. Like, I literally got on top of her. I started throwing my shit. Dude, I'm drunk as junk as hell throwing my shit. So, boom, they breaking up the fight. No, my friend Empress, she running the fight. She started popping up his face. 
because once they seen a girl get up they didn't know that i was gonna flip her they thought she was gonna get on top of me and start beating me up so she was already running around so by the time i flipped her and i'm bopping her in her face she started just come bopping her she already had an idea she had the she had the plan she just needed the platform like so basically does that happen so that's when our fight break up so our fight break up jp beat me up again he's like oh, da, 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 da. like and she's still arguing she calls me a hoe this is her problem from jump and this is why we beat from jump your mouth is reckless you keep calling me a hoe you keep saying i did this down a third and you're lying because at this time at this time how old i was 17 i just lost my virginity i just lost it why are you clocking me like girl like you're weird and you keep talking about my coochie and you keep trying to be funny and you're dead lying and you're trying to be funny in front of all these people who know we're not letting that slide so my friend my good friend i'm gonna call her jay my good friend jay she sideline yap that bitch sideline yap that bitch <laughs> when she sidelines that bitch or whatever they start getting it they start going towards the water my friend is beating her up beating her up some her friend AirPods friend tried to tase my friend while they was fighting. So me and Chris Kayla got on that. We got on that real quick. Grabbed that girl, slammed her to the ground, started stomping on her head. Yep. The same girl that basically invited AirPod, that brother is cool with us. So that's it. But so basically, after that or whatever. They was fighting me, stomping her. I still see them getting, um, Jay getting it on my AirPods. So I, I run over there, kick, grab the girl here. I'm like holding her. Get off my friend. Get off my friend. Because I can't even swing. Nobody letting me swing. They ain't trying to hold me. So I'm like, get off my friend. Get off my friend. After that, like, all I know was they start pouring Hennessy on my knees. Because my knees all scraped up, pouring Hennessy on my cuts. We start partying a little more. The cops got called. So it was like a big bro cops got called they was about to beat up the, her boyfriend all this so we end up there and i'm like get in the car get in the car we're going blue driving back to the block we're driving back to the block so we end up getting the car drive back to the block so basically after that night or whatever we still had school with airpod we still had school with airpod and still had school with her best friend her best friend was what the fuck was her best friend name i don't know her best friend name but yeah whatever airpod and her bestie the, the one she dated she they still went to our school so I think, yeah, the whole time that was them screaming out there, they playing the whole game. <laughs> so, let me finish this story time. So, basically, after after that happened or whatever, we see, I'm walking down the stairs this one day at school, and I guess it's like, she was a senior at this time, so she was barely coming to school. So I'm walking down the stairs, I see her and her best friend. I'm thinking they about to crash me, not gonna lie, because we did them grimy, we did her bestie grimy. So not gonna lie, I'm walking down the stairs, she don't say nothing to me, I start laughing at her face. I'm like, bitch, you're a pussy, you're a pussy, you're a pussy. Because if that was me, anybody jumped me, I would've said something. So, so that happened where I was just laughing at her face and you pussy. I'm sorry for all the commotion, y'all. This is like for life. And this is what I'm gonna have to learn, like y'all gonna have to, if y'all wanna keep, if I'm going to post on YouTube, I'm going to have to post real wall and how it's going to have to be. But yeah, so after that happened or whatever, like, that that was it with the girl. She never once said anything to me. She never wanted to fight again. Like, nothing. Never jump, try to jump me. Never try to do nothing sneaky. So yeah, that's how we had a big bro. And I might insert those videos. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to insert the parts I was talking about. I might not insert everything because... It's real federal, real world. Like, y'all don't need to know everything, but y'all can know some of it. And I don't want y'all to see the person that's fighting with me because I don't want to invade anybody else's privacy if they don't want people to know what they were doing. So I might just put a little bit of clips of, you know, whatever I was saying and explaining. But yeah, yeah. So this was raw. I was supposed to smoke with y'all. I might, like, add a clip of me blowing in the weed. Be just for y'all, just for y'all, you know. It took me, I, I took, I didn't even take me long to roll up. Honestly, I don't know if we could smoke, I could smoke on YouTube. And I was just crushing, literally just crushing the whole time and talking. But yeah, so I'm about to post, I'm going to post this video. That's why I don't know, I'm going to just add the videos. I don't know if I want to edit it too much because honestly, I just want to throw this video out there. Hopefully this video gives good views or whatever, y'all. 
I'm gonna be more consistent on here. If raw is life or whatever's going on, this what's going on. And y'all just gonna have to respect it. And wait, it's what bitches up. But yes, and I'm gonna have more vlogs coming because soon I'm going to St. Louis. Like I said, I didn't record my other trip to Texas, but I'm gonna record my St. Louis and my Cali trip. My internship to all of that. I'm gonna make more story time for y'all because I do have a lot of story time. I look crazy and I don't always have my hair done and I don't always look good. So this is how probably you're gonna see me 95% of the time. So yeah, I'm out. <laughs>